I wanted to try a local coffee place. And now it's time for the botanical gardens. It's spicy, it's really good, it's called Perry Perry. And the market looks fun. Well, I don't know how the food's gonna be, but this place is already winning on view. <laughs> I refuse to call it that. That is stupid. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I wanted to try a local coffee place. And Copenhagen Coffee Lab is supposed to be the best. We are Copenhagen Coffee Lab. You can call us a full-service coffee supplier because we make good coffee possible. Anywhere. Let's see. Very hot and strong. Not bad. But what I really came for is the cinnamon rolls. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Cinnamon roll is really good cinnamon -y, but it's stuffed with uh, custard. That's actually really good. Wow, I scored on this one. And for me, they had a Nordic spilt flour bun, which has sunflower seeds and sesame seeds and is delicious. Score, great job, babe. And today we're going to explore the botanical gardens. Well, it's not raining. It's free until 1 p.m. on Sundays. That's pretty, it's from Australia. Look at the size of this quartz. You got wings, girl. <laughs> Of course, megafauna from New Zealand. And I thought cassowaries were impressive. This place is way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Me too. And it is big. We're on the second floor. And now it's time for the Botanical Gardens. Wow, this place is just set to wander at will. A real bird, he's not even a plant. Botanical Garden is really pretty. I wouldn't pay for it, but it's free on Sundays, so we don't have to. I can't see them, but you can hear them, and there's lots of them up there. These are the same ones we saw in Madrid. Yeah. Hold on to your ticket, because you have to scan out, too. We just came upon this gorgeous little park, and it looks like a lot of these parks are set up with local, lo local artisan, local artisans. This is never gonna work. Markets with local artisans? Is that what you're trying to yes. say? Yes, markets with local artisans. That'll work. Hey. <laughs> She's cooking, she's got ribs and chickens going, she's got dishes going, she's doing plates, she's got, and it's, she's singing, she's in entertainment, and the place just looks amazing. Yeah. And there's one, two, three, four, six um, chairs in the six whole city, restaurant. And there's like 20 people waiting outside. We waited an hour. And I, I already know it's going to be well worth it. Yeah, everybody's just, everybody that bites into everything has a smile on their face. It smells delicious. <laughs> Our table's small, there's a mirror right in front of us, so it looks like it's huge. <laughs> Balsamic and mozzarella. And this is the Russian salad. Mm. It's spicy, it's really good, it's called peri peri, which means it's spicy chicken. That's really good. And this is the rest of it, ribs and sausage. Good find, baby. 
This was amazing, but you probably didn't hear anything I said in there. The owner, operator, and sole employee is Sonia. All that food was less than $20. We'll put the address below and it's a must visit in Lisbon. Well, we were in Aldi because you know Kate loves grocery stores. We found this little Dior coffee espresso drink. And conveniently enough, an airplane. That was really cheap. And it, I ate to a minute, it's pretty good. It tastes like the Starbucks one in the, in the glass bottles. Here, try it. Oh, wow, that's surprisingly good. Good thing it's a long ways out of the way to get to Aldi. It was a long walk. Oh, yeah, Actually, I could go for another one of these. I can do this. Oops, there's Aldi. <laughs> Another beautiful day in Lisbon. There's a lot of cool things about Lisbon, like these lounge chairs where you can just sit here and watch the water. For today's adventure, we're headed to a great big outdoor flea market. I was looking around for interesting things and the flea market is only on Saturdays and it looked interesting. You never know what old things are there. You got space in your bag for old things? Well, maybe a pair of earrings, maybe a pair of boots for the snow we're about to hit. And since we're in Lisbon, you know there's climbing. And climbing. But the climb is always... <laughs> but the climb is always worth it. And the market looks fun. I really like the police presence around here. There's just enough to feel safe, but not too many. <laughs> this market goes in every which direction. If every which way, huh, it goes everywhere. <laughs> I was wondering why on the, mar on the map it said it was over there and over here. That's because it goes on for a very long time. It is a real flea market. All the stuff is used, I don't see a lot of new stuff, and it's pretty entertaining. And it's set up around a more traditional market, which is set up as a Christmas market. You can commission your own custom-made beautiful scarves and saris. Wow. And that is her info. And as always in Portugal, lots of things made of cork. Okay, what's next? And sometimes you just step through a red door and wind up at a castle. But now it's time to find some lunch. So why not try some pho? And some spring rolls. Fresh rolls. Oh. Those are really good. With the rice paper, the carrots, and the shrimp. These are very refreshing and well worth the three euros. The broth has a lot of uh, depth of flavor. They put anise in it. And you can really taste that. I'm thinking we picked a winner of a place. Now to doctor it up with all of this. Oops. They're trying to dump it on me. Sometimes we just crave Asian food, no matter how wonderful the local food is. And the local food here is really good. But we're gonna get back to our pho. Catch you later. And then I found a gluten-free bakery for Chris. Cheesecake and the famous pastel de nata. It's not bad. It doesn't taste anything like uh, cheesecake. <laughs> it taste like? Whipped cream with uh, a cookie and um, strawberry jelly. And now for the pastel de nata. That doesn't taste anything like a pastel de nata. It has a, a more of a, um, like a pie crust with the pastel or the 
what is it, custard in the middle. And then the stuff on the top is a burnt sugar. But it's really burnt. Not bad. Eh. I give it a four. Really nice guy runs this place. Everything here is gluten free. It reminds me of the early days of gluten free when things weren't able to both taste good and be gluten free. You kind of like had to make sacrifices. We're not in those. Hi, bus. And we're not in those days anymore. There's gluten free stuff now that tastes amazing. It tastes just like non gluten free. So I won't be back, but um, hey, you know, I'll give him a, a C for trying. We interrupt this program for a special news bullet. Okay, I have to admit it. These Birkenstocks are the only sandals or flip flops that I've ever had that I put on fresh out of the store and gone to walk a couple hours in, and my feet feel better than when I started. Major thumbs up. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Kate has been finding us some great little local places to eat around Lisbon. It's not always appropriate to film in those, so some of those are just memories. But today, she has found a great thing for us to film. Yes, we're going to the Tower of Boam. Belém. Belém. Tower of Belém. But we're both saying it wrong. Yeah, I know. We're butchering it. B-E-L-E-M. Yeah, it's about an hour and a half walk, but it's semi-nice out, so why not? We got a little bit of a cold spell. It's down to, I think, 60 is the high today. It has been closer to 70 for us, since, you know, assume the place we're going, it's snowing, so. But Christmas markets. Yes. Uh, let's get to it. Yeah, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a little flash of sun, but I missed it. <laughs> It'll be back. And turn right. And then there's a path along the waterway. It runs right into the place we we're going to eat. This is the wrong direction, but we just had to walk over the bridge. Now back we go. And in a little bit, Katie's going to tell you something very interesting about that bridge up there. I don't know how the food's gonna be, but this place is already winning on view. <laughs> Here we are. Lisbon is so English friend friendly, almost everything is translated into English. Seafood soup. Oh, wow. So it's a seafood bisque with um, one piece of shrimp in it. It's uh, actually pretty good. I wish it had more seafood in it. Well, I got steak and eggs. It was 520 euros. The fries are crispy. Didn't know it came with a kind of a soup inside with the ham and eggs. So we'll see. Oh, wow. That's a wine sauce. Oh. Guess I gotta eat this whole thing on my own. I got the trusty ham and cheese omelet with fries. The prices were really good. Under 20 bucks for lunch for two. We got a soup. Both of us got our own meal, and Kate got a Coke. I've had better steak. It was a lot of food. I did not like the wine sauce on it. it and I can't eat that, so she's on that on her own. Yeah, it was like in a soup, a big piece of meat. I've had so much better, I I can barely give it a five. My omelet, on the other hand, was the best omelet I've had in Portugal yet. Came with a big pile of French fries. That was really good. And here's the bridge I'm gonna tell you about right now. This bridge was originally named after Prime Minister Salazar. However, after the revolution, it was renamed the 25th of April Bridge. If the color looks familiar to our friends in San Francisco, that's because they painted it the exact same color as a Golden Gate Bridge. Oh yeah, and there's Christ the King. We haven't decided if we're going to go all the way over there or not. This may be as close as we get. Next stop, the tower. Lisbon has an awesome waterfront area. wide enough view to get out to where you can see it. You can pay to take an elevator 
to the top. But that's touristy, it costs money, and I find it hard to believe it's going to be better than the view we got for free just a half a block that way. Well, I can't pronounce the name of this, but it's right below. Sailing school. Their camera costs a lot more than mine. Jellyfish. This is the Tower of Bolem. It used to be a, an old, um, where you keep prisoners. <laughs> it's terrible getting old. Um, holy crap. You put prisoners in a prison, but they called it something else. But that's where it is. You can go and pay money to go inside, but everybody says out here is far prettier. I could use a bathroom and a coffee, so we're off to Starbucks. One, two, three. We just got a new bike with a rabbit's foot on it. What do other people call it? A dead cat. I refuse to call it that. That is stupid. So it's a rabbit's foot. So it's a rabbit's foot. We spent the last few hours walking all over Lisbon. So that I could find this little gem. The Rode Video Micro Microphone. So upgrading to the new camera and putting weird lights in weird spots behind me. We upgraded the camera to try and get better video and better audio. And the next step in that is to get a microphone. After doing some research and talking to some friends that use them, we're gonna try the Rode Video Micro. So we'll see how it works. Ideally, this is gonna upgrade our audio a little bit and cut out some of the superfluous noise around us. But we're gonna do some tests and then Katie's gonna be able to finally take a shower. Sound test, sound test, sound test, sound test. All right, everybody, let's give a round of applause to our beautiful assistant, Miss Katie. <laughs> Now, after eight hours on my feet and walking on cobblestone. Are you not entertained? I'm gonna go take a shower. Bye. Keep drinking this coffee. Make <laughs> the, the thumbs, thumbs up and subscribe. subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>